Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. Julia Thatcher has the night off. The ACLU discussing bail bond reform at a meeting tonight, citing the inability for lower income individuals to bond out of jail. KSN's Derek Lytle attended the meeting and has details on what they were pushing for. Derek? Jeff advocates for lowering the cost for bonding out of jail, leading the panel discussion, saying someone's life should not be put on hold for a misdemeanor crime. Central County Sheriff Jeff Easter says the current system is working and altering it could prove to be risky. It's a, uh, it's a system. It's not a perfect system by no means. Uh, if there's something to look at, uh, then I think we take a look at it. Sergeant County Sheriff Jeff Easter says own recognizance bonds or zero cash bails for minor crimes has helped the jail not see overcrowding for the first time in years. He believes people have access to bail out. You know, the, through bonding and the way it's set up with OR bonds and those type of things, people don't spend as much time here. Sierra Jones says she was not given an affordable bond for a parole violation leading to complications. That was the most damaging part, was that I lost my kids simply because I went to jail and I could not bond out. Local bail bondsman Angel Martinez says the OR system is not perfect and needs to be modified to provide more clarity on what charge qualifies. You know, you'll see somebody go in jail for a uh, probation violation be stuck in there and then you'll see somebody for, with an aggravated assault get an own, own recognizance bond. Sheriff Easter says extreme bail reform on the west and east coast have allowed those facing murder to bail out and murder again, something he does not want to see happen in Wichita. People that are committing serious criminal acts, violent crimes that are back out on the street reoffending. I'm not interested in that kind of stuff. Now, Sheriff Easter says House Bill 2755 aimed at setting a minimum appearance bond fee of 10 percent, keeping violent offenders from being able to easily bond out of jail. Here for you, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3. Derek, thank you. Wichita police with a warning 